Hi everyone, welcome to another session of Visual Arts with Mr. Richardson. Uh, this is aimed for my prep students, my foundation students doing printmaking this term. Uh, the equipment that you'll need for this activity are some bottle tops. So whatever you can find in the recycle bin. So this one's from a two litre milk bottle. Uh, this one's from soft drink bottle. Anything that's got a bit of a, a patterned edge on the side of it. Um, so completely up to you what you can find. Doesn't have to be a whole collection of them. You can have just one or two, that's completely okay. You will need a sheet of paper. Just some printer paper is fine. Whatever size you want. I've got half a sheet, so I cut mine in half. Now, the um, equipment that you will need to print with is completely up to you and what you've got available at home. So if you haven't got paint, acrylic paint and brushes at home, then your alternative for this one is just with some colored textures. Otherwise, if you do have paint at home, just an old uh, plate or a paper plate with some different colors on your paper plate, a brush and a cup of water, and also a bit of paper towel as well, just so you can wipe up um, the sides of the bottle tops whenever you need it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so there's gonna be two different versions of this activity. As mentioned earlier, it's completely depending on what materials you've got at home. So this first one is just if you've only got some colored textures. So I've got just a scrap piece of paper underneath my works on my workspace here so I don't get texture all over the table. And my small piece of paper because the bottle tops are pretty small. You don't really need a huge piece of paper, but again, it doesn't matter what size it is. And you could do this activity for as long as you like. So if you are wanting to do a big print of with these lids, then you can have a bigger piece of paper. All right, so choose any one of your bottle tops and your first colored marker. And all you're going to do is just color on the rough side of the lid. Now, you don't have to do all of it, just one little side. And it's kind of hard to tell on a dark lid like this, but you can kind of see, if you look up close, it's kind of shiny. And then once you've colored a bit of it, you just roll the side of the lid onto the paper, and there is your first print of the wonderful texture that you've got on the side of your lid. You can kind of hear the sound that the text is making on those ridges. You probably can only do one or two prints every time you colour it in. So you have to keep repeating the process over and over again. It may feel a little bit weird with that scratchy sound of the lid. It's kind of like wheels on a car or a bike. Just turn and roll. That'll do. All right, so put the lid on your texture. Don't want it to dry out. Um, I'm going to use this other bottle top lid. Ding, ding. And whoop, there goes the lid. I'm gonna use the other side this time. I'm gonna use the round circle and color all of that circle in. And press. And there is my circle there. Now I'm going to color this edge here. Now, it may work, it may not. We'll see. That's the great part about art. Oh, brilliant. Excellent. 
So yes, you can use, and have a bit of an experiment with any side of these bottle tops. It doesn't just have to be the that side there. I don't know if you want to run away and roll away. That's the part that I guess is the most fun. <laughs> Having to chase after them. If you roll them too much, then uh, you end up having to chase after them. Can you guess what I am making with this peach coloured texture? Don't be tempted just to draw it with the texture because printmaking is all about putting some sort of liquid, like whether it's ink or paint or something similar onto a surface like a stamp and then pressing to get that shape onto paper so if you think like a stamp pad you might have some stamps at home and that's what we're aiming for we want to make those marks with this object I reckon that's enough awesome and then I've got one more left. I might. Hmm. Colour. That. You're going to press down hard with your fingers, but make sure that you don't wiggle it. That's one of the tips I'm going to give you. You don't want to make it move, otherwise it's going to be all smudgy. Awesome. So, using any surface of the bottle top, so the top or the sides, or even if you want to give the round circle a go, you could try that. I've got my butterfly floating on a sunny day amongst the grass. Now, that's with textures. Now, if you want to be a little bit more adventurous, I'm going to use a paper towel to wipe my fingers. You can do it with paint. So if you're going to go with the paint option with your brush, you only want a little bit of paint. You don't want too much because if you've got too much, then it tends to be all blobby and gloopy and you're not going to get a very good print. But Again, with his printing, it's not really a right or wrong way of doing it. It's just all about experimenting and rolling. Those bottle top leads across the page. And it doesn't have to be an actual object or a landscape. It can be something that's made up. And something that's made up from your head that you experiment with is called abstract. So rather than it being real life, you could do an abstract piece of printmaking artwork and just use your imagination to create something wonderful and colourful and gets people thinking what on earth is that print all about I wonder what the artist was thinking when they made that now of course if you want to reuse that same bottle top with a different paint you're gonna to have to use your paper towel just to wipe it off a little bit try and get as much of that paint off as you can before using a different colour otherwise it's gonna be a bit yuck and of course, you need to rinse your brush. So just 
squish it in the cup. Make sure you don't push too hard, otherwise it's gonna tip over. Wipe your brush on the side of the cup, and it's probably gonna be handy if you get your paper towel and just give it a wipe with that as well. So there's no extra water in the bristles of your brush, otherwise it's gonna be all watery looking and it's not gonna get you a very nice print. So I'm gonna try this side with a different color this time and I could have spots. So as I said before, you have to keep loading the, the paint on every time you want to print something because it runs out pretty quick. I am done with that purple. So I'm going to rinse my brush again. And wipe it. And just squash it with the paper towel. All right, one more. I'm gonna use this bottle top here with the, the lines on the side. Remember, not too much paint. Enough to cover those bumpy textured bits. So texture is all about how something feels on a surface, so it's kind of bumpy and ridged. And if you're clever enough, you can multitask and have the lid in one hand and the brush with the paint nearby in the other. And that way you don't have to keep picking it up and putting it down. And you know what? That is using both sides of your brain. Using both the left hand and the right hand to do two things at once. And I'm sure that you're all very clever people to try and do two things at once. But hey, give it a try. Takes a bit of practice. Couple more. Squirrel's running the corner. Until you think that your picture looks interesting and you've put lots of round printed. Oh, where can I put the last one? Um, yeah, that'll do. All right. Sorry, Mr. Yellow, you miss out this time. I think that's enough. So, ta-da! That is my painted, printed bottle top piece of artwork. So there you have it, folks. You can either do a texture bottle top printed picture or a painted bottle top printed picture. So whatever you've got, I'm sure you can come up with something amazing. Show me what you have created in your uploads to Seesaw and I'd love to see what you've created. Have fun with that. Bye for now.